We all know the definition of insanity, right? It's doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Yet we've all been guilty of this in areas of our life. We call them cycles of bad behavior, but the Bible just calls it sin. In John 4, Jesus encountered a woman who was stuck in a series of bad relationships. She'd already been married five times and was now living with another man who wasn't even her husband. While she was drawing water from the well of Jacob, Jesus told her this, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. It will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. What Jesus was telling her was that in order for her to break this cycle, she needs to go to a different source for help. See, these two wells represent two sources of wisdom. Jacob's well is the wisdom of the flesh, while God's well represents the saving knowledge of Christ. See, our way of thinking at best falls short, and here's why. It's selfish in nature, so it treats the symptoms, not the problem. It motivates us just enough to get us through our problem, maybe even help us make better choices sometimes, but only to get the results we want. It may help you get through this life or this problem, but it doesn't prepare you to stand before God at the end of it. However, God's wisdom focuses on the immortal part of the soul. When we turn to God and make Christ our Savior, it doesn't just change our behavior, it changes our heart. The Bible says we become a new creation, no longer a slave to sin. And this new spirit placed within us is a constant and immediate source of forgiveness, guidance, peace, and joy. So today, when you hear opinions, when you watch the news, listen to music, and entertain ways to solve the problems of your life and the world, ask yourself, is this wisdom coming from Jacob's well or from God's? Is this just a glass of motivational water to get you through today? Or is it a spring of everlasting life that can really create true change? If you're tired or find yourself living in an endless cycle, if you are thirsty for new source of everlasting water, the good news is that Jesus said, let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. And the last words of the Bible contain this final invitation for you. Let anyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who desires drink freely from the water of life.